Okay, wanted to show you a little bit about um, the headlights. Let me see. Hang on. Give myself a little bit more room right there. So as you can see the yellow in this. Now sometimes what you can do, um, you can spray a little um, WD-40. You can do a little um, bit of your ceramic coat. Um, and if you see that it lightens it up, then you know that the, a lot of the uh, cracking that causes the fading is actually on the outside and that means you can polish this up real good if you spray something on there and it doesn't change then that means the cracking is on the inside because you're not filling those cracks with anything um, WD-40 works really good for this because it does fill those cracks really well um, and it's easy to clean off so as you can see it uh, helps some so by the fact that it helps some, it will make an improvement. Now, there's no guarantee it's going to make all the improvement because some of this cracking could be on the inside of this lens. Okay, so what we're going to start with, or what I'm going to start with, is some sandpaper. Now, this is um, wet sanding sandpaper, and I believe this is 3,000 grit. I wanted to go higher. Yeah, 3,000 grit. I wanted to actually go higher, but... Um, this is what I had on me at the time. I don't have all my stuff with me. Uh, so, and then this is actually um, a wet pad. It just goes in between, so it kind of helps hold some of that water. So you're gonna do more of the wet sanding. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get this nice and wet. I'm gonna use my random polisher. And then we're going to go ahead and hit this. want to keep doing this for a while because you want to get the whole layer um, cut off okay? you want to sand down past the whole layer you don't want to just because this wet sanding is going to fill in the cracks as well uh, and so it's going to give you a false clear look so what you want to do is make sure you still keep going you're going to go up and down going to go across. And you can even go at an angle. this for a few minutes this video is going to be unedited uncut so you can look at the timer and see how long I do this for it's not sped up it's not slowed down If this was on somebody else's vehicle, if this was a nice vehicle, Mercedes, whatever, 
I definitely would not be um, doing this uh, on the vehicle. Most of the time, as long as it's not too insane, I'll actually take the headlight completely off the vehicle and then do it. That way I don't risk it damaging anything besides. And as you can see, that is 100% better, if not 200% better than it was. Now we're going to make it even better yet. Okay. So again, we're going to take the same polish tool. This time, instead of using the sandpaper, we're going to use a cutting pad. Now I need, I know I need a new cutting pad. This is an old one. I don't have my stuff. So bear with me. Now again, you're going to add a little bit of water. Okay, that's kind of one of the key things is you need to have water. So you add a little bit of water, tap it into the pad, and then you're going to tap your polish. <clears throat> this is cutting polish. Okay, this is like buffing compound. You're going to spread that throughout, dab it. You don't want to scrape it across. Now, one of the things that's important, okay, the first stage of this, this actually has a gritty compound in it, okay? So at first, it's going to act like sandpaper, and it's going to actually cut a layer of this. Again, kind of like the sandpaper. That's why, technically, 3000 grit is about the same as a lot of this buffing compound. <clears throat> it just does a little bit better job. Um, especially the 8000, 8000 is pointless because your polishing, your buffing compound or cutting compound is going to have that. So when you're doing this, you want to make sure you start off with it liquid and you're going to keep going, you're going to keep going past when it seems like it's dry. And you're going to keep going until when it hardens, it's actually going to, the paste is going to come off. The point of that is, is the sand gritty part of it will actually fling off when it dries up and then it's going to leave behind your polish and then your polish will actually do the polish part so that's why it's important not to just hit it once and then wipe it off you need to keep going until it actually um, kind of leaves a clean surface on its own hope that makes sense you want to make sure that speed, each cutting compound is going to have its own speed Make sure you're within the speed of that cutting compound.
I'm not done yet. So we still got two more steps. So this is the first cut. This looks really good there, but I'm gonna go ahead and do one more. So I'm gonna switch pads to a polishing pad. Well, this is technically not a polishing pad, but it is a somewhat polishing. Not a super fine, but it's close. So we'll go ahead and put some our commercial polish. Maybe just a little bit more, but I'm going to put a little bit, again, a little bit of water. You have to put a lot, and actually, normally I have a little spray bottle that I will spray a little bit. Oops. So you want to make sure you got a good polishing compound. This stuff seems to do pretty good for me. I'm, I've been happy with it. It hasn't uh, given me any issues. do this right your product helps your pads one of the most important things so you got to have the right pad this one's getting tore up because of these little pieces which I don't like but um, pads are critical because the pads what does the work the polish is just a, comp a component of it okay so you got to have the right pad you got to have the right polish um, you got to have the right eye this has a great feel to it and a great look to it from what it was we're still not done yet now again if you do this right the way you're supposed to you shouldn't have a whole lot of product to wipe off because most of it should have come off in the process so there shouldn't be much of anything left that's how you know you did it right now the last process you need to treat this either clear coat or ceramic now I have a professional ceramic um, I just it's upstairs I need to go get it um, that we treat this with 
so that I have a good clear coat on it so that the sun doesn't tear it down. For right now, what you can do is use something like a good um, commercial ceramic or a good um, spray ceramic. Go ahead and put that on. What this is going to do is have your UV protection to help keep the sun from breaking it down. It's going to help seal everything up, make it hydrophobic, uh, hydrophobic, yeah, and make it easy to clean. So it's going to give it a good protection. I like to do two, two treatments of it. Not a lot of pressure. You just want to let the product in, let the product do its job. You just wipe it on. Let it sit. You can let it flash. It usually takes about 30 seconds to a minute. So what we can do while we're waiting on that, let's go ahead and get some of the rest of this cleaned up. Yeah, it makes a mess. But then you know you did it right. So this is the process for cleaning up a headlight the way that you should be cleaning it up. I do have the actual small pads um, I just don't have the, I'm out of the, one of the sanding, I don't remember, I think it's the 1500, and my pad's starting to get wore, and I didn't want to use it, so I do need to get a whole new set, that's why I didn't use that, but that you go on a drill or a small DA, one of the little, um, two inch, and that actually works a lot better. But as you can see, if you just have a regular polisher, then you can do this. So now, you just go ahead and give this a final wipe, clean rag. And this thing is like butter, man. Just smooth. So, <clears throat> as you can see... What you shouldn't do right away but that water just comes right off you actually should let it sit for a couple hours before you put water on it like I said I'm gonna be treating this anyways I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna treat it with uh, the same brand just in the professional ceramic so as you can see that was a lot better from the original I didn't do any cutting any speeding up or slowing down so hopefully that caught everything and hopefully this helps you if you have any questions comments please like and subscribe uh, make it you know comment let me know what you think let me know what products you like to use what's the best one to what's your procedure let me know how you do yours um, and what products you use because I'm always open for trying different things trying different products and seeing which works best um, and this, the polish I used was the Mother's, um, I used the Cutting Compound, um, this was the 110, um, is it Meguiar's, um, then like I said, this is a 3000 grit sandpaper, and then this is just, a, a water pad. That you put on your polisher and of course then this is the ceramic that I use um, do you have to be well I guess you can get some of the other brands but uh, that particular brand you got to be licensed with them to get it um, so if you need any other product please let me know I can get you the product uh, if needed and if you need help learning how to use it I can do that as well so please um, like, subscribe, and please comment what you think.